Hey, it's Rachel from All About Planners. In this video, I'm doing a review of the paper notebook. So this one looks kind of like a typical dock grid notebook for bullet journaling, but it does have a few differences, which I'll point out in this video. Um, first things to note, it is a larger page size. So instead of your usual around about A5 or half US letter page size, this one is pretty big. It is about I think it was seven inches, seven and a half inches wide by about 10 inches high. I will double check those measurements and have all the details and everything in the uh, blog post which will be linked below. So the cover is another um, thing that's different. You can choose from different colors. I opted for this red one for something different. Um, pretty much anything other than black is a pro in my opinion. I'm just so sick of boring black notebooks. Um, the cover of this could be a little more, I don't know, something. It's just plain. You could add a monogram sticker or add something to it because it is just plain. The cover is that bendy material, which I have seen on a few notebooks. It's not a hard cover. It's this super bendy. As you can see, look at it. Look how flexible that is. It feels kind of like smooth, but it's still bendy. I really don't know what this material is, but anyway, I like it. And it's probably a good thing because it is quite thick, as you can see, probably about 1.5 centimeters thick, um, plus the larger page size. If it was a hard cover, I think it would just be too heavy. This one's still pretty lightweight. You could still take this with you without it being super duper heavy. The only con with having a soft cover like that is that it does get damaged um, or can get damaged. This is how it arrived from the US all the way to Australia. So kind of understandable that it got a bit scuffed. Um, but keep that in mind if you do want a like, pristine notebook that will last an entire year without getting damaged, you might be better off going with a hardcover notebook. So that is the brand. I hope I pronounced it right before if you want to Google it. And now you have this front page here where it's like the usual this belongs to page. You've got a little reward section. The paper is not bright white. I don't know if it's showing up well on the video because it is quite overcast here today. Probably going to rain later. Um, but I don't really have another opportunity to film. So hopefully you can see through the video that it's not bright white. It's like a creamy color paper. Now the other thing which is the main difference um, about this notebook is that it's not just dot grid the whole way through. You've got one side which is the dot grid pages and then one side which is lined. Similar to another notebook that I did a review of, which I'm probably going to get the name wrong, the Siwengeed, Siwengeed, um, I'll link it below. It had the similar layout, but it had much larger line spacing. So I do like that this one, the paper notebook, has um, smaller, like more typical line spacing, which is good. The other thing that's different is the perforated pages, as you can see, and these little boxes. So I'm not entirely sure why they have the boxes on there. I will have to do some investigating, but when I saw it, I immediately thought priority quadrant. So you know how you can draw up the box into four and have like must do, should do if I have time and then maybe like little things or blog or some other sort of category. So that's what I'm going to do when I use this notebook. I'm going to split it up into four and then have like my little color key in the corner there. I thought that would be a good idea. The dot grid spacing is around about, I think it was five mil like normal. Five to six. I will just double check that when I'm not um, filming and have that in the blog post as well. The line spacing I'm thinking is around about Five, uh, five millimeters, but I will double check that too. There are no uh, numbers on the pages, keep that in mind. There's no um, index, future log, or legend, or anything like that. It's just the pages with nothing extra. So it's kind of like you could use it for bullet journaling, but then you can just use it as a normal notebook as well. Maybe you could put your page numbers in these boxes. A few different ways that you could use this notebook. I kind of like that you can customize it to suit yourself. As you probably saw before, I'm not even in the middle of the notebook. I'll just go right here. And the pages are laying completely flat on their own, which I absolutely love. I flipped to somewhere else in the notebook. Laying flat. Flip to the front, laying flat. Really good. There is a rib ribbon bookmark built in. Only one, though. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, only one, unfortunately. So two would probably be good. If I keep flicking to the back of the notebook... We have a giant pocket folder if you want to put some stickers or something in there. I like this little extra touch with it coordinating. So it's got orange on there, orange bookmark, uh, ribbon bookmark, and then you've got the orange elastic band as well. Nice little extra because most of them will just have the whole thing as white, but I like that it's all coordinated. And then the back cover is the same as the front with that bendy material, as you can see. So if you're looking for an alternative to a traditional dock grid notebook or you want something that is big, you like a big page size, then maybe try this one. I found it on Amazon. Don't forget to subscribe. I usually post a couple of review videos each week.